This segment of The Marvel Life is brought to you by Gateway Subaru. Did you know that there are now DNA tests for your dog? Before, you could kind of know what to expect from your pooch because of its breed, but now they've gone above and beyond guesswork. Yeah, these uh, DNA tests are helping owners find out the exact breeds of their canine friends. You can even learn about the dog's ancestry, their parents, their grandparents, whole nine yards. Now, dog lovers are calling these tests a real treat. Not only can they now know the truth, but they can also know what to expect in the future, all thanks to doggy DNA. Since dogs are considered man's best friend, shouldn't we want to know everything about them? Good morning. Good morning. Michelle Sherman thought she knew everything about her nephew. This is Drogo. He's a real playful, loving dog. He loves other dogs. He loves kids, especially when there's food involved. But even from love at first puppy eyes, there was something eating at her. Is Drogo a Mastiff mix like she thinks? He was skinny, he was this tiny three month old puppy, but he had those Mastiff like features where he had kind of the droopier face and the eyes looked very Mastiff. To be sure, Michelle took a page out of forensic files and ran a doggy DNA test, a simple swab of Drogo's mouth. Mail the swabs off to the lab and about three weeks later, she received a full family tree going from Drogo's great grandparents to him and what they found out. He is what we call a Boxweiler. He's a Boxer and Rottweiler cross. With no signs of a Mastiff. It was really cool. We like stood back and we looked at him and we tried to figure out where those traits were. And as we started to watch him walk around and interact, we thought, well, wow, okay, I see the Rottweiler. I see the Boxer. So it was really fun to be able to see that. Sit. Good boy. He's a Boxweiler. <laughs> the Humane Society says there are also a lot of health benefits as well because certain breeds have certain medical issues and that can help you know what to expect down the line. Very interesting. Yeah. If your dog is a rescue from one of our local shelters, it can sometimes be difficult to determine their exact breed, but it certainly is not hard to love them. Here are just a few of the many animals up for adoption here on the peninsula in today's Pet Connect. Alrighty, first up over the Talbot County Humane Society, this is Missy. Missy's a five-year-old black and white pit bull mix. She was surrendered earlier this year because her owner had to move. Now, her friends at the shelter say that she is very sweet and super energetic, and that is a winning combination. They also have a few super kitties over in Talbot. First, Captain America. He is a two-month-old brown and white tabby, neutered domestic short hair kitten, looking to give you all the love that you're looking for. And here is his brother, Iron Man. <laughs> he is also two months old, a very cute brown and white tabby, neutered with domestic short hair. These little guys would make any family happy together or separate. And over in Wicomico County, here is Teddy. Teddy is a very sweet one-year-old beagle hound mix. His friends at the Humane Society say he is one handsome and gentle <laughs> beagle boy. Teddy loves to play outside and go for long walks. And our last animal today, also in Wicomico County, this is Claire. Claire received rave reviews from her Wicomico County friends. She's a seven-year-old domestic short hair who loves to be brushed, petted, and loved on. Claire is looking for a wonderful forever home. Now, if you're interested in any of the animals that we have shared with you today, just visit our website at WBOC.com and click on our picture right there at the top of the page. It is always fun getting to know your new pet, but what about one of the guys you've invited into your living room almost every night for the last few years? Coming up next, Del Marble Life Sean Stryker sits down with WBOC Chief Meteorologist Dan Satterfield to hear all about how he got his start and all of the exciting places he's been, including the South Pole. Demarble Life will be right back. <laughs>